So you're planning your dream Disneyland vacation and you want to know, is the Disneyland hotel worth the splurge? Join us as we tour and review this hotel and stick around to find out if it's the right fit for you. Hey everyone, this is Julia with Honest Hotel Reviews, and today I'm at the Disneyland Hotel in sunny California, giving you an honest hotel tour and review. This video is not sponsored, so if you find it helpful, we'd love your support. Give us a like, leave a comment, or subscribe, and let our conscience be your guide. Here's how our reviews work. Each hotel is graded on the same four categories, which are overall experience, hotel amenities, room, and value. This way you can see how they stack up against each other. From the moment you drive on to the Disneyland Hotel property, the show is underway. From the friendly cast members who greet you at your car, to the magical map of old school Disneyland that welcomes you into the lobby, it's impossible for you to not get wrapped up in the magic, even if you're not a Disney enthusiast. The Disneyland Hotel evokes the same emotions you get in the park, and it lasts throughout your entire stay. The production continues throughout this hotel in their themed decor and music. You'll find that Disney experience in every nook and cranny. From hidden Mickeys in your hotel room to characters wandering the grounds, there's nothing quite like the feeling of leaving the park at the end of the day, knowing you don't have to leave the magic behind. Surprisingly, the Disneyland Hotel is currently ranked number 38 on TripAdvisor out of all the hotels in Anaheim. This is far too low in our honest opinion. Spoiler alert, our annual hotel rankings has this hotel in a much better position. Even though it's a Disney operated hotel, it's not without its flaws. When we first tried to get into our room, there was a problem with our keys. When I got back down to the front desk, the staff member was beyond rude, to the extent I asked to speak to the manager. The experience actually had me in tears, but the manager went far above and beyond to turn the experience around, and then some. What they did for us at the Disneyland Hotel would never be matched by a non-Disney hotel. For more juicy details on what went wrong and what Disney did to fix it, check out our other Disneyland Hotel review videos. In addition to that, the Disneyland Hotel is not actually as close to the parks as you might think. The walk is easily over a 10 minute stroll through downtown Disney to get to the main gate. At the end of the day, we're giving them a 4.5 out of 5 for overall experience. There is a long list of special amenities included when you stay at the Disneyland Hotel, so settle in because you're in for quite a ride. The biggest hotel amenity exclusive to you as a Disney hotel guest is Extra Magic Hours, which allows you early access to one of the parks every day of the week. The Disneyland Hotel has one of the funnest pool areas in all of Anaheim. Their monorail themed water slides are super fun for kids of all ages. It's also easier for parents to relax with all the lifeguards on duty. There are a number of comfy recliners and umbrellas, but if you want a little more space to yourself, you can rent a cabana with its own set of pool chairs, but be prepared to pay a premium. One amazing thing that Disney offers at their pools are complimentary flotation jackets for kids. If you work up an appetite at the pool, they serve up food from the Tangaroa Terrace, which is the outdoor portion of the restaurant attached to Trader Sam's. It's good to note that Trader Sam's is a licensed bar, so children aren't actually allowed to eat inside. As for the adults wanting to go into Trader Sam's, make sure you bring valid ID or else you'll be kicked out. If you aren't from the US, you'll need to bring your passport. This is apparently the case at every Disney property, including Walt Disney World, but this is the only place we've ever been refused service because we didn't have our Canadian passports on us. 
Other restaurants here are Goofy's Kitchen, which is an all-you-can-eat buffet where Disney characters interact with you at your table. We haven't been here ourselves, but we've heard many people say breakfast is the way to go. Right beside Goofy's Kitchen, you'll find the more sophisticated, high-end dining option of the hotel, Steakhouse 55. Reservations here are highly recommended, as it's currently ranked number four out of all the fine dining restaurants in Anaheim. If you weren't able to snag a dinner reservation, we highly recommend having a drink and some appies at the lounge, or trying it out for breakfast. One morning during our stay, we decided to have breakfast at the hotel and were debating between Goofy's Kitchen and Steakhouse 55. As adults in our early 30s, we figured we didn't need an all-you-can-eat buffet and wanted to feel a little more sophisticated after a few days at the park. So we chose Steakhouse 55 and we were blown away by the service and the food. In addition, our final bill was less than half of what we would have paid at Goofy's Kitchen. The Coffee House is a great quick service option for grab and go items, but if this isn't your cup of tea or coffee, you're right beside Downtown Disney and their vast dining options. For all of you Starbucks fanatics out there, there is a Starbucks about a seven minute walk away towards the Disneyland main gate. The Fantasia gift shop is a fantastic place you could get lost in for hours. And there's also a smaller shop with toiletries, medications, and supplies. There's a standard laundry facility and fitness center, but some of their other special amenities include preferred access reservations, which allows guests access to a limited number of reservations to popular restaurants, special wake-up calls from Mickey Mouse himself, and Package Express, which allows you to send purchases in the park back to your hotel. Unfortunately, we can only give them a four out of five for hotel amenities simply because you are paying Disneyland park prices for everything. If you're looking for any of your essentials and don't want to pay an arm and a leg, you're going to need to leave the Disney property. By now you've probably heard about the magical headboard and all the hidden Mickeys and special touches around the rooms. If we're looking just at the room, the Disneyland Hotel has the best standard room out of all three Disney hotels. The beds are extremely comfortable. They've done a good job of making sure there are enough pillows on each bed and enough chargers at the bedside. The room is spacious compared to the standard offering in the area. And the bathroom is also a good size. with a full-sized hairdryer, Disney H2O toiletries, a bath with a shower, and a separate room for the toilet, which Ben and I like to call a shame den. Other amenities in the room include an iron, ironing board, robes, a safe, which will easily fit a laptop, fridge, and coffee maker. There's a desk for lots of charging outlets, but it also doubles as a second place to get dolled up for Disney. If you're in a king room, there's also a large couch which will convert into a bed and a small chair. One of our other favorite things about staying at any Disney hotel is the Hotel and Park Information Channel. This gives you the hours of operation for the park, including the schedule for special events like shows and fireworks, plus added extras about events going on in the hotels and restaurant suggestions. There's a wide variety of options for room service, and both times we've ordered it over the years, we were quite happy with what we got, but it's definitely on the pricey side. The only issues we had with our room was there was an empty shampoo bottle left under the vanity and the chair had a stain on it and was worn out and ready to be replaced. In the end, we gave them a four out of five. 
Value is a hard category to score for a hotel that is as expensive as this. But at the end of the day, we had to give them a four because of how much is included in the price. Getting the extra magic hours and the service that you just can't find anywhere else makes it worth the price, once in a while. But if you're a die-hard Disney fan, it is a place you should experience at least once in your life. We can't quite give them a five simply because even though it's called the Disneyland Hotel, it's definitely not the closest hotel to the parks. The Grand Californian is the closest Disney property, but if you want proximity to the park at a good price, there are cheaper non-Disney hotels that are literally across the street from the park. Just know if you choose one of these hotels, you are compromising on quality. This gives the Disneyland Hotel an overall score of 4.14 out of 5. If it's in your Disney budget to stay at the Disneyland Hotel, you should. The experience of being at the foot of downtown Disney in a Disney-operated hotel keeps the magic alive throughout your entire trip. Even though the cost of the hotel is high, the value-added items and hospitality that come along with the Disney Hotel just can't be replicated at any of the off-property hotels. In the event something goes wrong, they can fix it for you. Just remember to ask to speak to a supervisor or manager and be polite and respectful when you explain what happened. That is the one thing I can guarantee the Disneyland Hotel will do for you, which is something I can't say for any other hotel out there. For more information on the Disneyland Hotel, check out some of our other Honest Hotel review videos linked in the description box below. If you're planning a trip to the Disneyland Resort, we post new hotel reviews every week. Head over to our YouTube channel or check us out at honesthotelreviews.com for more hotel recommendations and travel tips. I'm Julia, and this has been another Honest Hotel Review.